hi so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to to make a lifetime battery for this like this sort of wall clock or this so so basically what it is so you you don't need to go every time you know when this battery runs off you need to go and buy another one so by using this with our circuit that we're gonna make it is gonna last forever you know, for life till your clock broke or you can use it as well you can use this system you know or this circuit for uh, like uh, remote controls for TV and uh, many other things but for today I'm gonna show you how to use it for this sort of clocks and it is so uh, stay tuned and I'll show you so to do this job we need 3.7 3.7 volt lithium battery we need 1000 micro, micro fired capacitor also we need two resistors 4.7 kilo ohm and the main thing we need this transistor transistor DC uh, 547 DC 547 okay now let's start so first we'll start with the PC transistor after that transistor I need to connect it between the the collector and the base Now I need to, to connect the second one, second resistor, 4.7 kilo the base as well. So now as I said in the beginning of this video, uh, so instead of when you know connecting thousand thousand microfarad you know capacitor uh, the the right the right capacitor is 47 microfarad not not sorry not a uh, thousand microfarad so I'm gonna connect it now so the positive will go to the co to the emitter of the transistor and the negative will go to in this end of this transistor like this Done. now what left is I need to so as you can see here you can use any sort of batteries as long as uh, 3.5 3.7 and it's uh, rechargeable so you can use your old mobile phone's battery or this one or this one or this normal one or this lithium one the old lithium lithium ones but uh, they need to be rechargeable and they need to be like 3.7 So I already plugged, you know, the plus and the posi positive and negative on, on, on the clock. So I think I'm gonna use this this one for now. I'm gonna try this one. So the the input 
now the negative here and the positive here and the output is negative here and positive here going to the clock now as you can see our input is connected negative and positive collector so now I need to connect the output the output will be plugged to the negative will be plugged to the negative of the capacitor and the positive will be connected to the positive of the capacitor which is the which is the emitter of the transistor so finally our our circuit is complete and it's all plugged and I'll show you the clock clock is working and it's perfectly done now I'm gonna try it on this different one this other one so let's start so as you can see the other one is working it's so good circuit you know, at least you're not gonna think of buying you know or going and buy some new batteries at least you've got this you can charge it whenever it runs out it runs out you know so so you can use this system as well you know for the remote control uh, I'll show you that and uh, sometimes in my next videos uh, but I'm gonna use a small battery and uh, with a circuit that you can recharge so, yeah. so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed watching this and uh, I hope it's really it's helpful and uh, see you in my next video thank you very much